Welcome to the spoken tutorial on snippets in GEdit text editor. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use default snippets, add new snippets, delete snippets, highlight matching brackets and document statistics. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04 operating system, GEdit text editor 3.10. To follow this tutorial, you should have working knowledge of any operating system. What are snippets? Snippets are lines of text or source code that are used frequently while writing a program. It allows the user to avoid repetitive typing. Snippets is one of the default plugins in GEdit text editor. Let us see how we can create and use snippets. Let us open the gedit text editor. First, we need to enable the snippet plugin. From the main menu, click edit and preferences. In the plugin tab, scroll down and check the snippets box. Click close. Let us write a C program to check whether a given number is positive or negative. First let us save the file as numcheck.c. Pause this tutorial and type this code in your gedit text editor. When you have finished typing, place your cursor on the next line. Now type the word if and press the tab key. Can you see the structure of the if statement? automatically inserted here. Notice that the cursor is on the word condition by default. Type num equal to 0. The word condition is overwritten. We can see the open curly braces and end braces are inserted automatically. This is because we have added the plugin called intelligent text completion in the previous tutorial. Type printf, open brackets, double quotes. Notice the end double quotes are also inserted automatically. Recall that one of the features of intelligent text completion is auto close brackets and quotes. Now type as shown here. From the main menu select tools and manage snippets. The manage snippet dialog box appears. On the left side panel, scroll down and select C. Click on the triangle sign next to it. The list of all the snippets for C are listed here. Click on the if snippet. In the top right panel, you can see the complete syntax for the if statement in C language. Look at the tab trigger field at the right bottom. It is displayed as if by default. So by typing if and pressing the tab key, the complete if statement gets inserted. Let us see one more snippet called else if. On the left hand side, click on the else if snippet under C. You can see the syntax for this on the top right panel. Note the tab trigger as ELIF. Click close. Let us see how to use this snippet in our program. Type ELIF and press tab. You can see that the syntax for else if is inserted here. Type the program code as shown here. So with the help of snippets we can avoid repetitive typing in our source code. Next we will see how to create our own snippet. Now from the main menu click tools and manage snippets. In the manage snippets dialog box that appears select C. At the bottom left of the window click the plus icon to create a new snippet. Type hello world and press enter. Then click on the edit panel. Type the following code. This is a simple basic program in C. 
the tab trigger field type hello. This is a shortcut keyword used in the editor. Click close. Open a new document in the gedit text editor. Save the file as hello world.c. If you don't save the file with C extension, the snippets for C will not work. It will consider the file as a text file and not a C program file. Type hello and press the tab key. The text that we type in the hello world snippet is inserted here. This is how we create and use a custom snippet. Next, let us see how to delete a snippet. From the main menu, click Tools and Manage Snippets. In the snippet list, click C. Now, click on the snippet Hello World which we have created. At the bottom left of the window, click the minus icon to delete a snippet. The snippet is deleted. Now, locate the snippet while loop from the list and select it for deletion. We can see here that the delete icon is disabled. This means we can only delete the snippets which we have created and not the default ones. Click close. Let us switch back to numcheck.c tab. In this C program, you can see brackets of different types. Sometimes we may lose track of the closing bracket that matches the opening bracket. Let us see how to highlight the matching brackets. From the main menu, click Edit and Preferences. In the View tab, check the Highlight Matching Bracket box. Click Close. Now, place the cursor on the open curly braces at the start of the program. Notice that the last closed curly braces is highlighted immediately. Place your cursor on the second open curly braces. Notice that the second last closed curly braces is highlighted in grey color. So this is good way to keep track of the brackets in a program. It helps ensure that all open brackets have the corresponding closing brackets. Next, we will learn about the document statistic future. Document statistic plugin shows the various statistics related to the current document. It shows information such as number of words, number of lines, number of characters, number of non-space characters, size of the file in bytes. Let us switch back to the gedit text editor. From the main menu, click Edit and Preferences. Click on the Plugins tab. Scroll down to see Document Statistics option. If the Document Statistic plugin is not enabled, then check it. Click Close. From the main menu, select Tools and Document Statistics. The Document Statistic dialog box opens. It displays the statistics including lines, words, characters and bytes in the document of numcheck.c. In the file numcheck.c, change the words as shown. Now, from the document statistic dialog box, click on update. Notice that the information has been updated to reflect the changes we made. Click close. This feature is very useful when a document is required to stay within certain number of words. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn how to use default snippets, add new snippets, delete snippets, highlight matching brackets and document statistics. Here is an assignment for you. Create a new custom snippet named company header. Enter the complete company address in the edit panel. In the tab trigger field, enter the shortcut key as company. Open a new document and use the snippet. 
The video at the following link summarizes a spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates on passing online test. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this machine is available at this link. This is Nirmala Venkat from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.